self-sustain. Also not the usual <laughs> lane to think about, like a plus gyro. Losing a lot of her HP very quickly to the move from G2IG. There it is, like you've been calling for, the action in that bottom lane from the Centaur and this Muerta. Took them long enough, because JT, oh, they're going in again. Another dead shot, might be a double Ooh. kill. Hell yeah. This was my favorite lane during TI, because it has so much... They want Lycan before he gets anywhere near level 6. He's super tanky, though. Hey, it could be difficult to bring down, but they'll have a go at it anyway. JT is dropping low down bottom lane. Duraccio and Celery going for the kill on the Centaur at the same time as Ace dies. So Offlane is trading their life there. Seems JT didn't get the memo that he was being ditched and left alone down bottom. That seems you were right, considering the items that Lycan is buying. Raid Band, Bracer, Magic One has Power Treads. That's not your Helm of the Overlord build, at least not early on. Maybe he can still switch to it, but... Uh, oh! Mid lane. Nothing to say. to say. Taking a lot of damage. Tofu's rotation in. Trying to be matched by X Nova, but he was just a little too slow there. So Between these two squads, looking for the openings they can. Taking the targets that they see. And a dive Quinn in the mid lane. Done. Quinn going for the Chen. Celery offering some good damage there with a the Crystal Nova. And uh, yeah, a root on nothing to say. Making sure he can't get in on top of the Kunker. So they want to die. Quinn. Seems like they do. They're still looking for something. I mean, Monet is battling with Ace up top. Mid and lane. in the mid lane, they go back in on nothing to say. They've got the torrent, the catch. Bit more damage. Frostbite. They it's have smart. it. They do. Oh. And the boat will fly Don't across. Not it. even required. Maiden will die. But this mid lane has gone from a, a crushing victory right. from the Earthshake. Ace is level six, so they've got the shapeshift to chase him. They just need to to control him up. X mark. Start off with a torrent. Monet. I don't think he's going to be slipping out of this one. He's going to role play as Houdini. Waveform. With the stampede, but the homing missile keeps tabs on him, and that shapeshift closes the gap. Earthshaker has now joined in. The flat cannon doing some good spill damage here onto the chain and the creeps. And Ace keeps on going, hunting supports in the back. Tidebringer hit was a big one there, but Boca drops low as Xenova's career falls. Tofu gone, and so is JT. One for one trade, and it might be a bit more here for Gaming Gladiators, though, because they've got this Quinn Kunker just continuing the fight. Target after target. And even Duraccio getting involved. Ooh, more See if G2IG do anything. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The question is, who's going to make the move? It needs to be like Baboka, some stampede action. Earthshaker has no mana whatsoever. And he's getting initiated on one more time. Both supports from Gaming Gladiators are coming. No, you can't protect him. Ah, uh, G2IG, they had two supports nearby, but they're going to lose them both, it looks like. Baboka pops his ultimate, trying to fight back. Losing his Chen and Earthshaker so quickly, though, and Tofu racking up a double kill. Play with some serious pace here. And nothing to say, he's been caught again, you know? Tumblr's toy up to high ground, not going to save him from this torrent and homing missile. Earthshaker, he's just been crushed. Oh, it's a good stampede. Can they wrap in behind? It looked like the Crystal Maiden was getting close. Could slow him down here with a Nova. Another X mark. Duraccio is here and now. Marta. Getting cleared out by Duraccio. You're right. Burnt alive by the Radiance. Hand of God is there to buy a bit of time. Monet now joining in as well. G2 IG scrambling to bring numbers into this fight. They defend themselves. Keep Earthshaker alive. Looking at Tofu as a kill on the Gyrocopter is the one they can take. But it's still a struggle. Every little move that G2IG make, yes, they get a support kill, but now they're going to lose something in the trade. X mark into both there from Quinn. The shapeshift from Ace will kill off the Chen. Uh, this was a fight where Ace did enjoy until the very last. Hide in the fog and wait. Network keeps increasing. They need to get some kind of a jump. There it is. Oh, shapeshift the shapeshift is out. Ace, chain stunned. Oh, he's slipping away from them out of the grasps of G2IG. And now in comes Duraccio, straight down the throat of oh, this murder. A lot of damage even through the hand of God. Does get pushed back by the fear, but look at Ace. And the other side of the fight, clearing out the Chen. And nothing to say he's been caught by Quinn. The lane matchup that Quinn was meant to get dominated in as he turns it straight back on his counterpart. Too much here to stop him clearing out a tier two. G2IG are smoked. Radiant vision there. Not going to see JT moving forward. This smoke could catch Gaming Gladiators unawares as they make the move on Quinn. Half HP, Fisher to stun him up. Still tanky, need the Echo Slam Big to kill. finish him off. And it's a huge kill for them, but the turnaround from Gaming Gladiators, the two supports with a cooldown and a freezing field. Blows up a Boca. They lose the Maiden, though. The rest of them into the back lines. Clearing out X Nova with Ace. Diving deep to Ooh, hunt the He has squishies. no mana for stun. Oh. 
two minutes left on the Aegis as well. And this is a difficult spot to be in. They've got to make moves and they'll get onto Tofu. Nothing to say. Blink echoes the gyro, but what Ooh, next? Centaur is gone. What next? You're just going to lose all your cores now. BKB TP out from the Earthshaker. Centaur dead. So you've busted everything onto this gyrocopter. And game. Alchemist going for the high ground. Uh, they're relying on some big, big echo slam and they don't get it. They're killing gyro. Seems like they're still in game one. Thinking about uh, gyro being carried. And TS yeah, gonna fly one more time. Down he goes. No Go buyback available. He's got Aegis. He's all right. He'll have BKB when he comes back up. While Celery, a 1v1 between Maiden and Morphling. Monet does come out as the victor in this one. JT and X Nova jumping forward with a three man stun. stun, but Monet cannot do anything. He doesn't have the damage to offer in this fight. So JT initiates for naught. Ace will turn, slice him down like an alchemist. Hungry Beast just munching on G2IG in this game. Number nope. three. I'm, I'm just thinking, break their items. It's because the game looks really <laughs> over. Uh, it's uh, more about the damage. Like, I, I think it's. Uh, more about you know them being able to lock onto these uh, supports and kill them instantly. JT forced to use Stampede. Oh, the Harpoon. There's no running from the big bad wolf. Dragged into the X mark and taken down with no buyback as Durantio goes past the throne. Straight onto X Nova's Chen. Morphling, Baboka, nothing to say. Hiding and cowering in their fountain as Gaming Gladiators start to go to work on these tier 4 towers. Chen gone. He's got buyback, but I don't, I don't know about this. Buyback for what? You're a champ. Not really offering too much in the way of impact now. Mega creeps arriving in the base here. The howl going to work. Baboka steps up. Pierces the veil. Gets X marked and boated though. And Quinn with a blade mail. BKB. Nothing to say. Tries the blink echo, but doesn't get anything done at all. GG called. And somewhat of an anticlimactic finish to this best of three. Game one started out with a bit of spice, but it got 